டிபார்ட்மெண்ட் ஆஃப் ஓரல் பேத்தாலஜி கார்விங் ஆஃப் பெர்மனன்ட் மேண்டிபுலர் சென்ட்ரல் இன்சைசர் ஆர்மமெண்டேரியம் யூஸ்ட் க்ரீன் கிளாத் கிளவுஸ் ஸ்டீல் ஸ்கேல் வேக்ஸ் பிளாக் கார்வர் பாலிஷிங் கிளாத் ஸ்மூத் ஆல் சர்ஃபேசஸ் ஆஃப் தி வேக்ஸ் பிளாக் Wax block is divided into three parts. Crown length is 9.5 mm, root length is 12.5 mm and rest for base. Draw midline on all surfaces of the wax block. Mark one side as labial surface and opposite to labial side as lingual surface and other two are marked as mesial and distal. For mesiodistal diameter of crown and cervix, we have to take 3.5 mm at cervix and 5 mm at contact area on both labial and lingual sides. Draw the line to get a trapezoid shape on both labial and lingual sides. Divide the crown into three equal parts, incisal, middle, cervical. Start removing wax from mesial and distal sides. Usually the outline of crown in proximal side is triangle. Here we can see this in this pic. When we draw the triangle, base is towards the cervix and apex is towards the incisal and make sure don't toss the apex of triangle. In lingual surface, we have cingulum and fossa. Cingulum is elevated and fossa is depressed. Since to create lingual fossa on lingual side We have to slightly modify this lingual outline. Draw the curvature on both mesial and distal surfaces. It will be helpful while you are carving. Now start carving the labial surface. Start removing the wax from lingual side and keep the cervical third area as it is. On lingual surface, marginal ridges are not prominent and cingulum is also not well developed. So there is like concavity known as lingual fossa. On lingual outline, crown is concave or convex. Noted that lingual fossa is concave and cingulum is convex and carve according to it. At the cingulum area, make the edges round. Keep the thing in your mind that your crown should converge labial lingually. That means when you are looking the crown from labial aspect, your cingulum should not be visible. Root is conical shape with blunt apex. So the outline is drawn in all aspect, mesial, distal, labial, lingual. According to outline, remove wax.
the mesiodistal dimension of root is very less than labiolingual dimension of root. In order to show distal curvature at apical third, remove the wax on mesial one third of the root. Root taper gradually and blunt towards the apex. Cervical line on mesial and distal surfaces convex incisally. Mandibular central incisor is bilaterally symmetrical, so the incisal surface of crown meets mesial and distal side at 90 degree, that is, it will be sharp. One important point about the root is, apical one third of the root is tilted distally. You can see the distal tilt of the root in the picture. 